Hi there, my name is Terry and this is 5 Minute Velo. Today I want to talk about how and why I protect my cranks from damage. Well what sort of damage am I talking about and how might it occur? Well the first type is due to the crank hitting a hard object like a curbstone or a rock, particularly on the end of the crank. And the second type is scuffing down the sides usually caused where your shoe rubs against the crank. And this is particularly a problem during the winter when one is wearing overshoes. So what effect might this damage have? Well, I ought to emphasize because of the quality of the engineering and the materials used these days, it's unlikely to have any effect other than one of aesthetics. It looks bad. However, the scratches can leave the surface open to corrosion, which can initiate cracks and cause eventual failure due to fatigue. While looking on a popular auction site, I found these. This is the packet with the crank armour that I was talking about. Um, these are branded Enli, but you can get many other brands. I bought these off a popular auction website. Uh, they came from China and they took about three weeks to arrive. I'll just open them up. The plastic backing, keep that because in a future video I'll show you what you can do with that. The armour itself comes in four parts, two parts for each crank. One part is to protect the side wall of the crank, the other to protect the end of the crank. Fitting is simple, you just slide it onto the crank with these Shimano Ultegra ones. It's just slightly tight which is good because it stops it moving around and then you can place it in the most appropriate position. For the end cap, and then that just slides over the top and then you can fit the pedal. As you will have seen, with my pedals I use a spanner to do them up. That means that I don't need access to the rear of the crank. So what I will often do is I will take a bit of my Gorilla Tape and just stick it over the back of the crank before putting the armour on. That means you can't get water, road dirt and road grit into the back of the pedal and therefore it protects it from corrosion. You can do the same with the other side. Now I also use one of these cadence sensors that doesn't rely on a magnet and normally it fits on the back of the crank but what I do is use this armour to hold it in place instead of using an o-ring it just looks a bit more aesthetic and there you can see the cadence sensor fitted underneath the armour holds it in place very securely. 